Wonderful people, viewers and subscribers, you're welcome back again on the platform where you get undiluted truth. And as it happened for Niger Republic, in Africa today, they are warming up for a battle. <laughs> And the battleground is Niger Republic. What are they fighting for? And who and who are fighting? Are in this war. ECOWAS have declared war on Niger Republic. Claiming coup. Now, let this, our wonderful mother, mother of Africa as we have today, tell you what really coup is all about. Let me remind you that there are other coups that we are not talking about, that we should be talking about. By France, forcing Niger to send all its natural resources to France, that's a coup. By France having its own military in, in Niger and forcing Nigerians that you can only be trained by France, that is a coup. By forcing Niger to deposit 50% of its uh, reserves with France, that is a coup. The question I have for those who are sitting on the table during those ECOWAS meetings, during those AU uh, peace and security meetings, what have you done about those coups? Take those three coups, multiply by 14, because that's what's happening in the 14 former French colonies. Those are deadly coups that have been taking place for decades. And you ECOWAS have done nothing about those coups. I need, I need them to also answer and, and give us remedy as to how they are going to handle those coups. Make no mistake about it. Those are coups against the African citizens in those countries. And when, while they discuss what they would like to do with Niger, I would also want them to table those coups and come up with a solution as to what needs to be done. Because behind those coups that I just described from France, there are millions of children who are dying from starvation. There are millions of children who are going to bed with an empty stomach. There are millions of African youth who are unemployed. There are millions of women who are dying while giving birth to another life. I need them to put that on the table as well. If their interests are truly about the Africans, let's look at the global uh, view of the issue. Let's have a best eye view of the issue and have a frank and fair and honest discussion about what is really going on in Africa. I do know that I don't think the carnage that's going on in Africa is what ECOWAS is all about. Leadership is about the people. It's about creating a better life for the people. But if you're going to allow one who has committed egregious crimes in Africa, continues to have coups, those are coups. Let's, let's call a spade a spade. You can't give France a pass. So also let us know what you intend to do about those ongoing economic and political coups that are being imposed on those 14 French uh, uh, countries, former French colonies uh, by France. So to just talk about what's happening in Niger alone, in isolation and not go to the root causes of the genesis of why what's happening is happening, uh, that simply does not make any sense. And I would hope uh, military intervention in Niger is not an option. That simply is not something we should do as Africans. There are better ways of dealing with our issues. Uh, our elders must come together. Our elders must have a frank uh, conversation. And let's look at what is ultimately best for the people, not only the people in Niger, but in all former French colonies and ultim ultimately in all African countries. Because this moment is calling for unity, mi meaningful unity of purpose among the African leaders to simply say, guys, this can no longer continue. It simply cannot continue. The people have spoken, and I hope our leadership would listen. That is it. This is what we call coup. I can't say it any better. This is what is called coup. Having France pointing their measures and their soldiers in our backyard, planting them there, dictating what happens and what doesn't happen in African soil. And the people revolted against their puppet through their militaries who took over power from them. You saw the massive support 
Even as Mali, Burkina Faso are rallying support to back Niger. So make Kowas leaders, led by Nigeria, especially as we have now an illegitimate president, leading a war against a fellow black man in Africa. Because they want their resources to work for them. Check any pro-Western government. Check the countries that are ravaged by corruption and impunity in Africa. They are always being pampered. They are the favorites of the Western countries. That's as much as we have today. And that is why Africa had never developed. They see these schools happening in Niger, Mali, Guinea, Burkina Faso as a liberation, as their own kind of democracy they have defined for themselves and not this democracy, this Western people's empower in Africa, especially as we have it in ECOWAS and even in the East African uh, 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 countries. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. You are rolling out tanks. They will be quick to supply you ammunition, missiles to kill yourselves over the resources in your homeland. The West, they will be quick to do that. But they will not be quick to establish their industries in Africa to create jobs. They will not be quick to put in institutions to train your own people. To harness, to get you involved in your own development. Just as much as we have it during the colonial days. That's what is happening today. They'll build ra railways that takes the raw materials from the hinterland to the to, to the shores where they export it. That is the only kind of development they bring to you. And today it's even worse. They bring their machine, their gun and uh, war machines around you, establishing military bases. Using same to tell you uh, you are practicing democracy. Rubbish without that kind of democracy. To hell with that kind of democracy. The kind of democracy that had brought only abject poverty on Nigerians, on Africans as a whole. To hell with that kind of democracy. I am not a promoter of military rule, no. But we have to define our own democracy that works for us. In a government where the people are not allowed to vote, where the people are being killed just because they want to cast their vote and elect their leaders, you put yourself there in, by force. France would not see that one way happen for Nigeria. America, you didn't see the wickedness, the impunity, the coup that happened in Nigeria. You didn't see it. You didn't see that's a coup. But you're going after Niger because your people was on seat. I think this is enough. Africans, it's time to, for you to wake up. If they want to kill every one of us, let them kill every one of us. Let them kill every African. Then they can now occupy Africa generally. That is what they want. That is what the West want. Come down and kill every one of us in Africa and take over our land. Because that is where this whole thing is heading to. But I tell you, posterity will judge every one of you African leaders that have sold their people. For the benefit of themselves and their paymasters, their puppeteers, the Western countries. That is all I am bringing to you. Help me share this video far and wide. Open the eyes and consciousness of Africans around the world, black nations around the world, to sit up because nobody will free you other than yourself. Share this video to everyone, my people. I'm only an advocate for good governance, and good governance starts with having the right people in power to impact good governance for their own people. Bye-bye.